Hi and welcome to my channel. I think this is a record. I've done so many videos today, but uh, this is the last one. Light's really fading now. Just want to go back to this NED. Uh, done quite a few videos on this NED 7020 now. Uh, and this is probably going to be the final one for a little while. This is um, a transformer that was buzzing. I'm going to show you a little clip of the uh, transformer buzzing. Uh, so here's that clip. Okay, as you can hear by that clip, it is buzzing, uh, and especially when you start putting the top on and that, it just kind of amplifies uh, the buzz a little bit more with the casing on. You think it's subdued, but it doesn't kind of resonate and uh, makes it a little bit worse. Now, you may have a transformer like this. I've got a couple of other videos. I'm going to stick my link to one of them as well, uh, where I fixed a Marantz buzzing transformer. I may give you another idea of how I've done it. But with this particular transformer, I've decided to uh, use some epoxy resin uh, made by Gorilla Glue, so uh, I think I call, I call it glue throughout this uh, video when I'm explaining it, so I'm going to show you that video in a minute, but basically what's happening is the outer case here is like, it's a gap in between and the transformer being at 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending where you are, kind of resonates with it and it buzzes and it can be horrible like you know I mean it can overpower some uh, low tracks if you've got some tracks that are very low, you can kind of hear the buzzing coming in uh, especially if you've got it on a wooden bench or something like that, it just seems to amplify it just a little bit more as well. Now, you're not always going to completely get rid of it, and hopefully you will, but uh, you know, if you dock it down by 90% or even 50%, you know, it's a bit of a result, but by 90%, something like that, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be really like put it in the background kind of thing. You're really going to hear it unless you put your ear right against it, something like that. You know, sometimes you're not completely eradicate the buzz, but in this case, I've managed to do it again. And eradicate it like I said I've, I've used a different glue this time in the video I'm going to show you know just show you how I've done it with this case you may have one where your fins if I just bring this over uh, kind of give you an idea where are we uh, now this is a neat sink but uh, these are the fins inside kind of like magnifying them up a bit and uh, usually look, they're stuck together with glue each fin will be stuck together with glue inside the transformer and that glue is going to have to be fairly thin to get in between them fins. Uh, I mean, you could completely take the transformer apart, which is quite a big job, really, and not what I'm covering here, because, uh, like I say, you could, you know, if you've got a gap in between the fins like that, you can actually see in between each individual fin. You may want to get a paintbrush, a bit of varnish, and paint that, and that, uh, that, that varnish is so thin that it, it'll drip down in between the fins and seal it. So that's something you may want to do if you can actually see a gap in your fins. But in this particular transformer, you're gonna see it, that uh, the black fins, is no gap, the glue holding that with the varnish there, whatever they've used to hold that together is still in place and it's working fine. All I'm gonna do is put some glue between the inner of this transformer, the actual like uh, core of it, of the iron kind of core that they use, uh, the fins and, that, and the outer casing. And uh, you know, if you can imagine these being the fins and my end being the outer casing, it kind of goes on over the top like that, the outer casing all the way around. And if there's a slight gap or something, it's, you know, it just makes that bit of a vibration. And with the glue in between, it will get rid of that, uh, hopefully. And in this case, it did do so. So let me just show you that video of me actually doing it to this transformer, uh, putting that epoxy resin. Okay, so all I've done so far is take the casing off. That was just two screws each side and three at the back. You're easy enough to find those. And once you've done that, you have the, uh, receiver uh, top down looking at it and if you go to the side panel you'll see where the uh, transformer is and you'll see on that side panel four screws that's holding it in place there is the four screws here all i've done was undo those and you know carefully pull the transformer out onto the top of the actual unit just be a bit careful you don't pull any wires i mean then wires should be nicely soldered in anyway so you shouldn't have any problems but you may want to take a picture too just where all the wires go just in case one gets pulled but i very much doubt it but it will cover you just in case and if one did come out obviously that's a loose connection a dry connection so um, that will solve a little problem that may arise later on anyway but uh, you should be fine Okay, once you've undone it like so, uh, we're gonna flick it over and we're just gonna undo these four little clamps that's holding this C kind of casing on this C-shaped casing, aluminium case around the transformer that's causing the vibration. 
uh, undo them just flick them up uh, get a screwdriver underneath whatsoever so they're like so and once you've done that you can kind of prise you may just take a little bit of uh, prising the outer casing off i mean it's still going to be glued on there so i may just have to put a screwdriver down the side or something like that or give it a good pull and it will eventually come off and once it comes off put that aside for a second and uh, as you can see still got glue stuck on the fins here so you want to scrape all that off so it's all nice and clean uh, you could actually take these two gold side plates off as well if you wanted to uh, I didn't bother with this one because uh, they looked uh, okay to me they didn't seem to be uh, loose or anything like that so I left them where they were but you could ping them off if you wanted to and actually uh, clean around there as well and uh, glue them back on as well but uh, I think these are nice and tight and they didn't see many problems here so uh, I'm sure it's the outer casing actually making the vibration noise anyway um, let's have another little look from a few different angles so all this gunk here all this old glue needs to be scraped off just get a scraper or something like that scrape it all off should come off fairly easy because it's kind of like fairly brittle now it's quite hard old and brittle and also inside the casing itself that was uh, around the transformer that C kind of aluminium case just give that a good clean get all the old glue off and what you want to do now is put the new glue onto the casing and also you now give it a good dollop uh, like I've done here as you can see a couple of pictures there then if we go back to the transformer that uh, we cleaned um, them fins uh, the black fins there uh, you, you put some glue on top of there as well uh, not showing this picture here but uh, if you could imagine that's all clean just stick some glue on top of that as well uh, so it's all nice and thick now if you think any of them fins have got some gaps in them some uh, you know, reasonable size gaps so I should imagine as you can see all these here are nice and tight there's no gaps in between but if you can see any gaps rather than put this thicker glue you may want to use a little bit of varnish with a paintbrush just paint it on there get a bit of varnish a normal varnish and just paint it on there because it's much much thinner than this glue this is quite a thick glue it's much more thinner and it's going to drip down inside them fins and stop them vibrating as well so uh, but in this case this isn't the case this is fine there's no gaps in them thin fins on the transfer with them black lines or fins uh, if you can see any gaps in between like i say get a paintbrush and put a little bit of varnish in there maybe and uh, let that dry before you put the new glue on top so yeah we're just basically going to cover this uh transform with the black part of it here the fins uh with the glue we're using and also obviously we've got it on our casing as well and once we've done that we're going to sandwich them all back together uh, and as you can see i've got glue oozing out the top here and i have some out the bottom and the sides as well and that's good because it means all the glue's gone in there it's filling up all the space inside uh, all you need is a damp cloth just to wipe that glue away and obviously once you've done that uh got it all back on there uh re uh, do them bottom little clips at the bottom so if i just show you the clips again just ping them back over so they're on there nice and tight and uh, once you've done all that the transformer uh just leave it there to dry for a while then you can reassemble it back into the uh, unit and uh, go from there but uh, also obviously yeah, i haven't shown you with the arrows but uh, also clean the uh, you know the actual mount of the transformer's got a little bit of glue on as well as you can see here uh, each side where the holes are there's still a bit of glue there you want to clean that so it's nice and level so uh, that's not no, it's sitting nice and level inside the amplifier uh, receiver should i say and it's not going to vibrate neither so you want it all nice and tight and uh, no vibrations at all so uh, that's that done so i've got the receiver on the bench the light is it's, it's off at the moment but these lights are on here as you can see but that's just this light here so you can see the transformer um, just the light coming through because i've got the uh, top panel off as you can see just covering that stops them so it's actually off at the moment so let's uh, now turn it on hopefully you'll see me turn it on and you'll see it light up and if we go over and have a little listen to the transformer. As you can hear, it's quite as a mouse. So if we just go over there again and have another little listen. Not making any noise whatsoever. Very, very quiet indeed. You can hardly hear it, nothing at all. Very, very quiet. Okay, so that's that receiver transformer now fixed okay I, I missed a couple of pictures out because when i did it i thought i keep thinking i'm taking pictures and sometimes you forget you get carried away with doing something you've got to do this do that and you suddenly forget you didn't take a couple of pictures but i think you've got a, you know a good idea of how i did this transformer i'm going to put another link up to another marantz or the same marantz but a different video of it showing you how i've used some grommets as well uh, when fixing this to the case and that you know you've still got a little bit of buzz a little bit of a buzz 
You could put some grommets there. I haven't done it in this case here at all. This is back on the case. But you may want to put some grommets, some rubber grommets, just to kind of stop it vibrating in this case, amplifying that vibration up. What I will say, and I don't mention it in my other videos as well, even though it's epoxy resin post to cure or set in five minutes, so you're going to have to be fairly quick doing it, sets in five minutes. I'd leave it a few days, you know, with that other glue I use as well. Leave it a week or so, a few weeks. Uh, you'd be surprised how long it takes to actually set completely solid. So if you put it together, you've still got a little bit of a buzz and you think, oh, I ain't eradicated it all. Well, you've still had the result because you've got rid of quite a bit of it. But give it another week or so, and you may be surprised that glue, glue really sets and it may uh, get even better. So yeah, just give it time, you know, don't turn it straight on, expect it to be working instantly. Let that glue dry and, uh, you know, when it says five minutes, it's probably going to be 24 hours at least and give it a few days maybe before you retry it. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll get rid of the buzz on your particular unit. But this was the, uh, what was it, it was the NAD, so I'll get mixed up which ones I've done. This is the NAD 7020 receiver with that buzzing transformer now fixed. So that's it, just a very quick video there. I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.